Video Gamers Oasis. Website, YouTube channel. Without a doubt, the best of the three. All those feathers. I had thought of shifting the observation hall view to one of the peaks, but then I wouldn't be able to see them anymore. My third favorite species. He will make an excellent heir. The Flytarians are blessed to have such a wise and noble leader. Not to mention Tidy. That's very important. As you would know. Exactly. Not that talkative, but who wants a chatty guard? I have made numerous visits to the Flytarian Valley over the years, though the last time I was disallowed entry. Maybe it was something I said? Ah! Those fine specimens guarding the mountain path take their roles seriously. That may be but I still need to get past them. A kind gesture never strays upon the wind. What does that mean? Try to win their favor. There must be some way you can be of service to them. I have observed that they seem to take issue with the nearby wasps. Perhaps if you were to remove them? Couldn't hurt, I suppose. Well, actually, it could. There must be some way you can be of... Couldn't hurt? Well, actually, it could. Be sure it doesn't hatch or you will be a mother before your time. Don't you mean father? Don't confuse the child! Be sure it... Don't you... Don't conf... Proud and regal creatures, like those who have pledged to protect them. You will never find more diligent parents. Irritable creatures. Their stings can leave a nasty rash, assuming they don't kill you outright. Don't get too close. Is there a way to pacify them? Have you tried singing to them? No, and I'm not going to. Oh, what about putting them to sleep then? That should calm them down. Really? Works for humans, doesn't it? I have heard that the fruit of a certain plant has an intoxicating effect on insects. You can barely keep them away. <laughs> or awake. Which plant? No idea. They're not really my thing. It has the best view in Iganor. Why go out into the world when you can see it all from here? Always so serious, that Varner. Gets around like he is expecting the world to evaporate at any moment. He just needs to learn a little levity. That's a great song. Who was I talking about? Varner. Oh, yes. Did you know Varner is the odds-on favorite to replace Pyrace as Fire Master? I should know. I'm running a pool. Want in? Falum... Falarm... Falaim. Yes, that's it. Falaim. I think. He possesses a key quality of most fire mages, overconfidence. The tailor's wife locked her husband out of the house again, probably because he didn't arrive home until just before dawn. Keep your head in the clouds! I should see if Vort has any insight to offer about this intoxicating plant.
I know the plant Jonas was referring to. There's a tingleberry bush growing in the woodland just outside of town. The berries, when dried and crushed, release an intoxicating aroma. Heating the powder in an incense burner will increase its potency. This should be quite effective against the wasps. Where am I supposed to find an incense burner? Seems like the sort of knick-knack the giftless would take an interest in. Are you sure this will work? Couldn't I just feed them the tingleberries? Technically, ingesting enough should knock any creature out cold. Insects, however, aren't known for their large appetites. Besides, have you ever tried force-feeding a wasp? Point taken. You'll have to smoke them out. How can I help? Any creature that attacks an innocent ground dweller from the air is born out of cowardice. You can tell Jonas I said that. Not that he'll remember. That is one for Jonas, I think.